Hello guys, welcome to my new Genshin Impact video. Guys, Natlang is finally coming and we are getting our first Natlang character and that gonna be a proper DPS of DPS character and she is actually we are getting first female 5 star character. She is a Hydro 5 star and wield Catalyst as the main weapon and she's gonna be the Hydro DPS from the Natlang, the very first character. So I'm gonna talk about top 5 super amazing weapon for Molani and we are going to talk about in detail about each and every weapon so stay tuned till the end guys I guys on the screen you can see her gameplay with the combination of normal attack charge attack elemental skill and elemental burst she deals a pretty good amount of damage on the field and she uses some kind of fish or shark to ride on and to deal damage and guys she totally based on the HP percent so the higher you having HP on Molani, the higher you're gonna deal damage on the field. Without wasting any time, let's talk about the top 5 5 star weapon for Molani. Hey guys, on number 5 we have Everlasting Moon Glow. Everlasting Moon Glow is super amazing. HP percentage 5 star weapon having base attack of 608, 49.6% HP as substrat which is pretty high and good for Molani. And in the refinement ability, healing bonus increased by 10% which is just useless for Molani. But normal attack damage is increased by 1% of the max HP of character equipping this weapon. For 12 seconds after using an elemental burst, normal attack that hits opponent will restore 0 0.6 energy. And energy can be restored this way once every 0 0.1 seconds. So basically it gives you more normal attack damage, uh, you know, multiplied to your max HP. And it will also give you more energy so you can spam the elemental burst quite few times this is not the perfect weapon or this is not the best weapon for molani but if you want to if you don't want to spend any wishes or you know money on the weapon for molani you can use this weapon if you already own this weapon it's pretty good weapon matches some kind of like matches with the kit in a way like not the perfect way but yes on number five guys we have everlasting moon glow Hi uh, guys, on number 4 we have Jade Fall Splendor. Jade Fall Splendor is a Bezu's signature weapon. It's very similar to what we just talked about, the Everlasting Moon Glow. These are only two weapons in this list which are without uh, crit rate or crit damage. Uh, so yes, if you already have Jade Fall Splendor and you're not using Jade Fall Splendor on any character, you can use this weapon, it's very similar to what we just talked about, like Everlasting Moon Glow. Base attack and HP is just same, 608 base attack, 49.6% HP. Uh, but refinement is a little different, but it's similar if you're having like, uh, it will give you more elemental da damage bonus. It will more, it will give you healing actually, it will uh, like give you some kind of restore energy power, so yes. If you have this weapon, you can you you know have more energy, and your elemental uh, bo a da elemental burst will get more damage and blah 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 shit. But yeah, it's good weapon, but it's good for if you are using any shield on the character. In a way, it's a good weapon. Both Jade Fall Splendor and Everlasting Moon Glow is similar weapons. If you don't want to spend any more wishes or money, you can use either of these weapons. So guys, on number four, we have Jade Fall Splendor. Now guys, top 3 weapons are gonna be the best weapon for like, uh, for her. The best weapon, like, game breaking weapon. If you have those weapon, you can use those weapon on uh, Molani and they're gonna be a blast. So, let's start with the number 3. On number 3 guys, we have Lost Prayer to the Sacred Winds. It's a very strong weapon. I One of my favorite weapon uh, in the game. It's literally usable on any character doesn't matter if that character is dps sub dps or even a support character base attack is as same as any other weapon 608 but here we go crit rate 33.1% crit rate which is amazing and if i'm ability is also very good increase movement speed by 10% when in battle gains 8% elemental damage bonus every 4 second which is stackable up to 4 times and lasts until the character falls or leaves combat guys uh Increased movement speed by 10% is, uh, is is good for her because she uses some kind of movement uh, using the shark and she moves around a, a lot on the field and then gaining 8% every 4 second elemental damage bonus which is insane and stackable up to 4 times. 
this is going to be blast on her if you literally don't want to spend any wishes money and you don't want to go for the signature weapon you can actually skip the signature weapon if you have this weapon because it's a very very good weapon so on, on number 3 guys we have lost prayer to the sacred winds hi right, guys on number 2 we having the signature weapon of one of the strongest and monstrous character of fontaine it's called to tom of the eternal flow it's also a signature weapon of a hydro character and we are in this video talking about a hydro five star character so guys the base attack is little low 542 compared to the other but we having 88.2% crit damage which is the highest or the catalyst in the game and it's going to be very very good for any dps character and actually it's the same uh, percentage if you compare this weapon with signature weapon both signature weapon and this weapon having the same crit damage amount here which is amazing and the refinement ability is also very similar if you compare both signature weapon and this weapon hp is increased by 16% when current hp increase or decrease charge attack damage will be increased by 40 14% for 4 second max attack is 3 this way can be triggered once every 2.03 second when the character has 3 stacks or a third stack duration of fresh 8 energy will be restored but basically this will give you a little bit of hp also in the refinement ability like 16% on r1 and also giving you more damage to your charge attack and also giving you more energy so you can deal the damage you can have the more energy and you can have more hp and you can have literally 88.2% crit damage so guys forget about this signature weapon if you have this weapon like this is the second best weapon for molani and trust me guys it is very much close to dealing a uh, dealing the uh, high amount of damage if we compare this weapon to signature weapon so on number 2 guys tom of the eternal flame hi right, guys on number 1 we have the surf up surfs up it's very unique name and it suits the you know a uh, gameplay of molari and of course guys the signature weapon for molari we having a 542 base attack here and 88.2% crit damage same as the tom of the eternal flame flow i just told you max hp is increased by 20% so once every 15 seconds for the 14 no. seconds after the ele after using an elemental skill gain four searching summer stack he stack increases normal attack by attack damage by 12% for the duration of the effect On seventy one point five second, lose one stack after an opponent gets killed. Blah blah blah. Basically, this uh, refinement ability will give you twenty percent extra HP and will give you normal attack damage. So basically, this weapon gives you normal attack damage bonus and Tom of the Eternal Flow giving you charge attack damage bonus. So keep that in mind. That's the only difference between these two weapons. Otherwise, the same similar amount of HP percentage and same amount of base attack and the crit damage so on number guys we have the surf of for molani as i already told you molani is based on the normal attack skill and the elemental burst deals equally amount of damage like equally balanced to each and everything so yes guys surf of on the number 1 on number 2 we have the tomb of the eternal flow on number 3 we have lost fair to the sacred winds on number 4 we have jade fall splendor and on number 5 we have everlasting moon glow Guys, these are good for Molani. I'm not saying that these are the best. That's why I rank them from number one to number five. Number five is not being the strongest. As same for four and the third. Then third, second, and first going to be the you know the strongest for Molani. If you wanna make the decision that which weapon you should give to your Molani. That's it for the video, guys. If you think I said something wrong, I have mentioned something, some wrong weapons here. You can correct me in the comments, no problem. If you want to see more generalized videos in the future, please subscribe to my channel. We'll meet in the next video. Till then, bye bye. Take care.